Namaste. Welcome to Happy Cooking. Few days back, I have already posted a recipe which is suitable for Navratra, Ekadashi, or any other Upwas or Brat. That means fasting days. Because in fasting days, we are only allowed to have Swakli food. That recipe was a one dish meal, quinoa pulao. Today, I thought of sharing another recipe which is also suitable for such occasions. But it's a sweet dish. Stay with me to see how to prepare it. You'll find the ingredient list in the description box as usual. And at the end, if you like the recipe, then do give it a thumbs up, share and comment. And if you are new, definitely subscribe and press the notification bell to remain notified about all my future posts. Today we are preparing the pumpkin halwa, known in India as kaddu ke halwa. Let's prepare kaddu ke halwa. And I am actually adopting today a quicker, easier version of this. Otherwise, halwas usually take longer time to prepare. And they are usually having a lot of ghee or pure clarified butter. But today's preparation, I am going to balance the amount of ghee so that there is not too much of ghee in it. But at the same time, it is super tasty, easy and quick. The main ingredient for today's recipe is yellow pumpkin. Yellow pumpkin is a very underrated vegetable. This is a vegetable which is loaded with vitamin A and it is also rich in many other vitamins and minerals and essential nutrients. This is low calorie as well. And the pumpkin seeds, they are also very, very low carb and they are rich in very good quality fat. So with all those goodness, pumpkin is definitely something which you would want to include in your diet. For pumpkin halwa, we got to remove this hard brown skin from the pumpkin. Because this is a chunky piece, I'm going to cut it into smaller pieces so it's more easily manageable. And then remove the uh, hard brown skin like this uh, with the help of a knife. But just be careful. Remove the skin so it becomes clean like this. We also have to remove the inside part, the softer part, which holds the seeds. And once that has been removed, then we have to cut the pumpkin in uh, thinner slices like this. Just give them one time wash and thereafter drain the water, shift them to the steamer, cover them and steam them for just five to seven minutes only. While that is cooking in another pan, add half a liter of full cream fresh milk and just give it a stir, allow it to come to a boil. Now that this is simmering, take one tablespoon warm milk from this and mix it to few threads of saffron for them to release their natural color and flavor. Don't forget to keep stirring the milk time to time. You don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan. Five to seven minutes later, you can see all the pumpkin pieces are cooked proper they are still holding their shape and the texture this is exactly how you want them to be after steaming do not overcook them to just easily and quickly uh, do it i'm going to mash it using a potato masher and this is the consistency you want after mashing in another pan, I am adding 1 tablespoon of ghee and in that I am frying the cashew nuts for 40 seconds till they are golden. Next, fry the raisins and remove them in 10 seconds only. This side our milk is in the meantime thickening, just keep an eye on that. Into the remaining ghee, I am adding now mashed pumpkin. Just keep stirring it and mixing it with the ghee for next one to two minutes only so that you get a nice texture. It also gets a very nice flavor from the ghee. At this stage, add half a cup of sugar. You can change the quantity of sugar as per your taste and also as per how sweet your pumpkin is. The sugar has melted. Remember to constantly stir it because you do not want it to burn. Stirring and cooking would also give it a nice rich color. This side, our milk by now has thickened quite a lot. Now add this thickened milk to the pumpkin, give it a good mix and allow this to cook on medium flame. In 5 minutes, this has become slightly thicker. Add half a teaspoon of cardamom powder or elaichi powder for natural flavoring, but this is optional. In another 
three to four minutes. I've been starting it time to time, but it has become thicker. Five more minutes down the line, you can see it has started becoming really thick. At this stage, I'm adding here half a cup of full cream milk powder. This will instantly give, make it thicker and creamier. Halwas are supposed to be like that. But keep cooking it for few more minutes. In a while, when this has come to this consistency and starts starting to leave the sides of the pan, that is when we are going to add more flavoring. We'll use something natural. So our saffron milk goes into this, mix the saffron milk with it. You can see instantly it has given such a rich color to this. Not just the color, it also adds flavor. For making it more rich, we are adding one tablespoon of ghee. And with this one tablespoon ghee on medium flame, stir and cook it for another couple of minutes. And this is the right texture and color you will get for pumpkin halwa. To add some crunchiness, here I'm adding about two tablespoons of chopped pistachios and half of our fried cashew nuts and raisins. A quick stir, mix it thoroughly, and this is it. You can now shift it to the serving dish. Look at this, shiny and so tempting. Garnish it with few threads of saffron and the remaining fried raisins, cashew nuts, and chopped pistachios. Such a creamy and melting mouth texture. It's so rich in natural flavors and colors. This Swatwick sweet dish is an absolute delicacy. Trust me, try it once and you will know. I hope you like this recipe and you're going to try it because this is a recipe that does not include a lot of ghee. The vegetable itself is low in calorie. The quantity of sugar you can adjust as per your test. If you like, definitely do let me know through your comments if you would want me to post similar recipes in future. So happy Navratri to you. This year's Navratri, may that bring a lot of peace, prosperity and happiness to all the homes. Take care of yourself. I'll soon be back with yet another recipe and stay tuned for that.